It was a rivalry for the ages. If you do not go, I will start kicking you and I will not stop. Brought to life on the big screen by director Yorgos Lanthimos in Oscar-nominated The Favorite. The period film is part comedy, part drama, as three A-list actresses recreate these historical relationships. The Queen is an extraordinary person. They will stare. Olivia Coleman plays Queen Anne, who ruled England, Ireland, and Scotland from 1702 to 1714. Everyone leaves me. He dies. Her closest confidant was the Duchess of Marlborough, Lady Sarah Churchill, played by Rachel Weisz. The women had been longtime friends, and when Anne ascended to the throne, she named Sarah the Mistress of the Robes and Keeper of the Privy Purse, among other titles. That made her the second most powerful woman in the kingdom. That was until competition showed up. <laughs> I apologize for my appearance. I hoped I might be employed here by you. Emma Stone plays Abigail Masham, Sarah Churchill's cousin. Her family had fallen on hard times and Abigail had been working as a servant. She arrived at Kensington Palace seeking work and got hired. But over time, she seemed to edge out Sarah as Queen Anne's favorite. You're so beautiful. Stop it, I'll, you mock me. If I were a man, I would ravish you. <laughs> Historians say the rift between the Queen and Sarah started over political differences. Sarah was also known for her brutal honesty and didn't just tell the Queen things she wanted to hear. They grew apart further because Sarah would spend long stretches of time away from court. Lady Marlborough has been unavoidably detained with business of state. I'm the business of state. That left an opening for Abigail, who historians say took a more flattering approach with Queen Anne. You have become close to Abigail. She is a viper. You're jealous. The film suggests a possible sexual relationship between the queen and the women vying for her affection. While rumors did swirl, historians say it was unlikely because of the deeply religious culture of the time and the queen's poor health. The film also omits the presence of Queen Anne's husband, Prince George of Denmark, who was alive when Abigail arrived on the scene. However, the film does focus on her mourning his loss, as well as the miscarriages she suffered throughout their marriage. Anne has been portrayed throughout history as childlike and moody. Did you just look at me? Did you? Look at me! Look at me! How dare you! Close your eyes! But she's treated more sympathetically in later accounts as being a product of her pain and suffering. As for the two women duking it out to be her favorite... Let's shoot something. Historians say they mostly kept their feud civil to not cause a scene at court. But the dramatic embellishments of this story make it worthy of the Oscar buzz. Sometimes a lady likes to have some fun. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.